I'm not going to serve you, but since you guys won a championship, here's a bottle of Patron and here's the Coors Light tap. You go ahead and take care of yourselves and um, feel free to leave a couple bucks for me when you leave. Shut up and sit down. Hey, give me your favorite story or memory of winning a Super Bowl as a Green Bay Packer that has nothing to do with the game. Tell us a story from behind the scenes. Myself and Josh Shipp, we started sneaking around in AT&T, the belly of AT&T Stadium, and we found ourselves a club that had no patrons in it anymore. All the fans had left. It was a couple hours after the game. And we found our way in there. And uh, some just low on the totem pole bartender was in there cleaning up a mess of all messes. It must've been a Packers party in there because it was mess all the way up to the ceiling. But he's cleaning this thing up. And we said, hey, do you care if we kick it here until the, our buses leave? And he said, sure, you, you know, no problem. I don't think I'm gonna be out of here anytime soon. And we said, uh, well, what, 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 can we, what can we order? And he said, here, I'm not going to serve you, but since you guys won a championship, here's a bottle of Patron, and here's the Coors Light tap. You go ahead and take care of yourselves, and um, feel free to leave a couple bucks for me when you leave. So we just hung out there, myself and Josh sit and watched the highlights of the game, relived it with just the two of us as we sat there and drank for a couple hours before the buses went back to uh, to the post-game party back at the hotel. We didn't get back to the post-game party until – easily midnight, if, if not after midnight, which was fine by us because by that point in time, all of our friends and family were feeling just the same way Josh Sitton and I was. Shut up and sit down.